Hi, I'm Molly Angel, owner, certified personal trainer, and certified health coach at LiveWell. And today I want to talk about um, one of the, some of the misconceptions people have about eating healthy, which is one that it's expensive and also that it takes a lot of time. So um, to help you with the cost part of eating healthy, I'm going to give you a few tips. And my first one is just to eat in season. I have this watermelon here um, because it's summertime right now. And there's so many great farmers markets in our areas that you can go visit and um, take advantage of the the season, the fruits and vegetables that are in season right now. And then in the fall, you have apples that are in season, um, sweet potatoes, those sort of things. And so usually, when when those things are in season, they're going to be um, cheaper in the store and at the farmers markets. And then um, also another tip is a lot of people feel like they have to eat organic everything in order to be healthy. But my tip is to spend on organic where it counts. And a great resource for that is a website called ewg.com. Um, it's literally the letters ewg.com. And um, every year they put out a list called the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. And the Dirty Dozen are the list that you want to definitely spend your, organ your money on organic if you have it available in your budget. And then the Clean 15 is the list that you can just say, hey, I'm not going to waste my money by spending organic here. And they do that, a lot of testing on the vegetables and fruits in order to come up with a list to um, show you what pesticides and herbicides and those sort of things are used on the most and so that you're able to get the most bang for your buck on or organics. And then um, my third tip for saving money is use that freezer that you have in your house. Um, you can use it in a few different ways. Um, one is when you are buying your fruits and vegetables in season, um, freeze them so that later on in the year when they're not in season, you bought them when they were most cost effective. And then also another great thing about the freezer um, goes along with saving time um, is to cook once and eat twice. So when you cook once, double that recipe and then freeze it um, so that next week you don't have to cook um, one night out of the week so that you can just pull that from the freezer warm it up and you have it ready to go so that leads us into how to save time by cooking healthy and going back to the cook once eat twice um, my tip with that is to make more at dinner time so that tomorrow you can eat it for lunch or um, a lot of people have this misconception that you have to have bacon and eggs or oatmeal or something for lunch or for breakfast but you can have um, a, a chicken breast or some um, leftover steak for breakfast in the morning. And then a big part of it is having a well-stocked pantry so that you don't have to run to the store every time um, you want just one or two things for a recipe. So some of the things that I always have on hand are my cooking oils. Um, right now I have here my co coconut oil and my olive oil. I have some natural sweeteners, um, my co coconut sugar and some raw honey. Um, I like to keep on hand vinegars, which add a lot of flavor to dishes. And this is apple cider vinegar. And then I also use coconut vinegar quite a bit. Um, here's some olives um, and some capers, which are great to add to dishes. Um, the olives are great for um, a healthy fat. And then the capers just add a little extra uh, flavor to dishes. Coconut milk, which is always good to throw in your smoothies or to make a sauce with. Um, and then I always have tomato sauces and diced tomatoes because you can always make a quick um, dish with, with the tomatoes. And then um, coconut flour too because those are just uh, good for, for baking. And then keep it simple. Um, even with a culinary arts degree, I do not cook fancy at nighttime. Um, I basically do the same dishes week after week and just kind of rotate the sides that I put with the main dish. Um, I, that way I don't have to make a grocery list when I go to the store. I know pretty much each week I'm buying fairly the same things. Um, and it might just be a hamburger and two vegetables. Um, the next night it might be a chicken breast with two vegetables. I do not get fancy. And my next tip is to prep wisely. So that comes to like, if you know you're coming, if you're going to be chopping up onions for the recipe that you're making tonight, don't waste your time only chopping half the onion. Go ahead and chop the entire thing up so that the next night if you're making a dish that 
um, requires onion, you already have that onion chopped up and you don't have to get the cutting board and the knife out and do more dishes. Um, it just helps all around. And then my last tip is the crock pot is your friend. Um, there is nothing better than getting home from work and you have that smell of the food that's been cooking all day hit you in the face when you walk in the door because everything is ready. Um, it makes your house smell great and you have um, dinner on the table within just a few minutes. So. Um, feel free to send me any questions or comments if you have any tips or ideas or questions about how to save money or time um, cooking healthy. So um, for more tips or recipes, be sure to follow us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.